you do have water, but you, it's not right easily accessible and you have to go find it. Okay, now that we've calmed down from the deer and the fire. Because we don't want to incapacitate ourselves. We don't want to incapacitate ourselves <laughs> and just become spicy meat burritos. <laughs> We're stomping our feet because there's horse flies here and you can't feel them when they land, but oh, boy, do they bite. Man, you know, this is a beautiful spot. Look, it's beautiful. It's got, you're on the edge of a cliff here in Montana and it's been great. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're paranoid. <laughs> well, I feel something. So it's been great until today where the horse flies have just like gotten crazy. We are leaving this wonderful camp spot that we found that Susan told us about. So here is the valley that we were looking down on from our campsite. Yeah. Up at the near the Garnet Ghost Town. Oh, it's so cool. I was wondering if we were gonna come down and pass through this. Yeah. We did. Yep. Wait. That, that yeah. That's yeah. so funny. There it is. So how is that adrenaline buzz, Chris? Oh my gosh. Huh? You're not going to be able to sleep tonight for the amount of adrenaline you just went through your brain veins. Oh man, that thing came right between us and then like it almost hesitated for a second and I swerved to the right and went around it like... We're here in Drummond getting gas. I think we're just gonna keep moseying down the road and uh, praying for safe travels. Man, so Chris, a deer jumped out in front of Chris and Chris avoided it. Yeah. And then we're rolling into this little small town. We saw a fire and what it turned out to be was a big uh, hay bale, a hay bale stack a on fire. A huge hay stack, but, the round ones. But when they came, when they were, the, the volunteer fire department was coming through, one pulled out in front of me and then yeah, we missed got, me. Uh, I got my Cena on. We got something burning up here. Look at those old buildings. Those are awesome. Yeah, yeah there's something, there's something going to town. Oh, okay. okay, come on guys, let's take it yeah. easy. And no. hey, simmer down now, people. Uh, I know you want to go put the fire out, but let's not take a couple motorcycles with us. Yeah, my goodness. Deer <laughs> and get off the truck. road. Oh my gosh. And then pull back in the road and almost hit Chris. Yeah. They they weren't going to the fire. They were going, they were to, going to the, the, the volunteer fire to go get their fire truck. Go get the truck, yeah. So we weren't, we were just passing through town and they were understandably going crazy because it was a huge fire. And oh my God. So now where are we going? Okay, so What's now we're, road? well. We're, we're in Drummond. We're in Drummond, but we, and we want to go to Anaconda. Yes, because right? there's Anaconda, between Drummond and Anaconda is supposed to be a beautiful scenic route. Right, but if you see here, this, this takes us on 90, and we don't want to go 90. We're going to go down this road, which is Highway 1. We're going yes. to go down here. Yes. Highway 1 and take this Highway 1 to Anaconda, and then once we get through Anaconda, we'll go to Butte. Yes. That's, that's, that's where we're at. 
Menser's used cow lot. Like like used. Like used cows? I, I don't get it. Like the cows have been used or? Yeah, they've been pre, used. They're pre-owned cows. that we go through. This is the Anaconda. Looks like just, a nice... Just a, yeah, just a, you know, small town America. Yeah. Looks okay, so this is the life of a content creator that li lives out of a tent. <laughs> when, you, when you roll into a town that has Wi-Fi, you stop at a the first park, picnic table, rest stop, laundromat, bench. library, bench, whatever you, you can find it. to get a little work done. And then you roll on back out. And that's <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> if you ever wanted to know how we edit videos, <laughs> this is it. This is this is, it. this is life on the road when you don't have an RV, camper, truck, trailer, anything but yeah. a tent. <laughs> and you need Wi-Fi. All right, quick pit stop into Walmart. Packing up for groceries again. And then because that's what we do every three days. I know, and I hate grocery, I, I can't say that. Grocery shopping is one of my least favorite things to do and now we do it like three times a week. <laughs> so the game is, where's Chris and Rich gonna have lunch today? That's what the game is. And, ta-da, we're having lunch at the Montana Fish and Wildlife Center behind a Walmart because our map said that this is a picnic area. Picnic area. So we're going to have our picnic here in their parking lot. What's for lunch? Sandwiches. Sandwiches on these little flatbread, which is a great way to travel because we quickly found that They're regular nice. bread gets smushed. Mashed. So might as well just already buy bread that's smashed to begin with. <laughs> we don't have to worry about it, right? <laughs> pretty for five bucks a day <laughs> we here forgot we to say what did we forget that we got here where the heck we are oh yeah what is this lowland yes. lowland campground in uh, outside of butte montana yes so handy we're here it's five dollars a night vault toilet pump water and it's us and one other camper also no cell service here <laughs> Richard's been cut off. <laughs> when we don't respond right away to your comments, it's yes. because we are out here with absolutely no service. Correct. Fighting back bears. <laughs> yeah. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't find the water spigot. We've walked all over. And 
there's really only like one, two other people camping here. So we thought, well, maybe it's because there's no water. Yeah, but, but it's a ways. But the water's like way over in the picnic area. Did you find it? Oh, there it is. I found it. Isn't it in a weird spot? Yeah. Just to show you, so here's our tent site. And the water is in that stand of trees over there. But you have to drive all the way around to get to it. But it's okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you this is what Richard calls one of his little rituals every night before he goes to bed when he wants a fire in the morning. And we think it's going to be kind of chilly, so here's what he does. He's got itty bitty sticks, bigger sticks, bigger sticks, big sticks, and then the giant logs. And he's all ready to rock and roll first thing in the morning. <laughs> you look like you're OCD in here, dear. Dinner! <laughs> I had this great idea to make tacos. So, I got all the ingredients. Guess what I forgot? Taco shells. <laughs> yeah. So we're actually making taco burritos. But they should be kind of good. We'll see. Up. We've got some jalapenos. We have an onion. Some hatch green chili. For spices, I'm going to throw in some cumin, red pepper flakes, taco seasoning, and why not? Some chili powder. Bon appetit. <laughs> They're really good. Are they? Mm hmm So, if you're wondering what Richard's doing. Well, we are in, this is the closest proximity to bears that we've been in, because there's even a sign that says the bears, there's been bears here since a week ago, or two weeks ago. So I want to clean this as best as possible. What? What are we doing now? Well, we ate, and we're getting ready to settle in for the night. And well, we not we just ate and we cleaned up everything. Yes. Because this is as, <laughs> not that we don't clean up. Okay, not that we don't clean up, but kind of took a little extra precaution. Yes. And now Richard has trash. the lovely trash. So where's the bear spray, Richard? So the bear spray, <laughs> just to be clear, the bear spray's right here next to me, down here, okay, with the safety on. And the bear spray will not be dispersed in this tent. <laughs> if we're, if we have to use, we, the bear spray goes out with us if something happens. We're getting attacked. Okay. Okay. Just because we don't want to incapacitate ourselves. We, we, we don't want to incapacitate ourselves <laughs> and just become spicy meat burritos. <laughs> spicy meat bear burritos. <laughs> yes, yeah. Spicy meat burritos for because we'll be in our sleeping bags. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> A little, you know. <laughs> okay. Just, just to be clear, we're not anticipating anything. No, but, but, <laughs> but we. Uh, what, what, we just want to be prepared. Yes. <laughs> this is our evening entertainment view. Guess what we're watching out in the middle of nowhere? Alone on Vancouver Island. 
Yes. <laughs> I think that's why we got so paranoid with the bears. <laughs> I don't think we got. I didn't. We didn't get paranoid with the bears. There's a sign oh, that true. says "Bear Activity <laughs> August 6th. <laughs> It was only a week or so ago. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. We're being prudent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was just a week ago. So. Uh, we'll be, yeah, we'll they're be not, fine. They're probably not going to be here because of the barking dog. And, and the, the generator. And the generator running. <laughs> but yes. hey. But hey. We're first in line before the generator. This is true. There's no one. There's no other no. beef burrito, human burrito <laughs> thing. Meat, we, meat burrito. <laughs> yes. So. If no spicy, more, spicy <laughs> <beef burrito. laughs> if, you, if you get see no more videos out from Two Wheels Big Life, you, you know, send the search party out outside of Butte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come rescue us.